I'm a Namaste Guys, Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout out on this Friday morning here in Denver, Colorado. It's 8 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. We're jumping on for our daily dose of growth. Challenge is designed to grow your soul, to stretch you mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. I'm a Namaste, Adriana. Welcome to the party. Number one super fan. And uh, so I was thinking, Nothing was coming last night for challenges that would be appropriate. And then this morning, I was like kind of groggy, kind of in and out of it around 5, 5.15. And I'm like, all right, all right, what's, what are we going to do? Karen, Atma Namaste. Tina, Atma Namaste. Suresh, Atma Namaste. So uh, one, one aspect came in, then another aspect came in, and then it started to kind of congeal. Denise, Atma Namaste, into a challenge. Amanda, Atma Namaste. And I'm thinking to myself, okay. This could go in 12 different directions. Jose, I'm going stay. So we have to have some level of frame, but also keep it flexible. Because if I put too much structure in, then also we, don't have, we have less to talk about with awareness. Does that make sense? And we're now on the 11th challenge. So we have more challenges than I have fingers. So we're going to have to start including my fingers and my toes. Joanna, I'm going to stay uh, for today's challenge or moving forward with the challenges. So, challenge is very simple. Yuvi, Atma Namaste. Andrew, Atma Namaste. Is, what do we talk about with Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui's quote? Without awareness, there's no inner transformation. Without awareness, there's no inner transformation. Without awareness, there's no inner transformation. So, that being said, when you have awareness about something, you have the opportunity to transform. Juliana, I'm going to say, I've done this experience, um, this challenge before, actually many times, and uh, it was one of the most profound experiences of my life. But I'm just going to throw out the challenge, not going to have too much parameters for you guys, and then this evening at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, we'll discuss feedback. What was your awareness before, during, and after, and what lesson did you learn moving forward? So the challenge is, I want you to find somebody online or offline, I hope Amanda's listening to this one, <laughs> find somebody online or offline that you can ask them the question, they have to know you, <laughs> they can't be a stranger, Amanda, they can't be a stranger, they have to know you, and you ask them the question, I want to be careful how I word this. What are my positive qualities and where are my blind spots? What are my positive qualities and where are my blind spots? So find someone who knows you online or offline. What are my positive qualities and what are my blind spots? It has to be face to face in some capacity, face to face online through Zoom, through Skype, through FaceTime on your phone, or it can be face-to-face -to -face together, right? There's a reason for this. Lizzie, I'm a namaste. So far, so good. Do you guys have any questions about today's challenge? Today's challenge is a beautiful challenge, but I have to be careful of how I word it so you guys get more unbiased feedback. Okay, so any questions about today's challenge? So you find somebody who knows you, online or offline, and you connect with them visually. They see you, you see them, and you ask them the question, what are my positives? And where, where, um, where are my blind spots? What are my positive qualities and where are my blind spots? This sounds tricky. Jessica, have you been cleaning electronics? Okay, Denise gets the challenge, very good. So you guys have 10 minutes, or uh, you know, 15 minutes interacting with this person. And you can do this over 10 hours. If it runs over, that's okay. Some path, Atma Namaste. You says, can't, can't also be with husband, partner. Yes, 
This is where it gets tricky. Um, Tina says, do blind spots mean weaknesses or negative points? Yes. Yes, so Adrian's asking the question, uh, define blind spots. So there are things about our personalities. There are things about how we think, which would be difficult for another person to validate. But there are habits that we have. There are mannerisms that we have. There are words that we choose, actions that we take or don't take that hinder us. So, stick with, stick with blind spots or weaknesses for now. This is a big topic. This is a really, really big topic. I'm choosing this topic as a challenge to myself for you guys of a challenge of how to clearly articulate something that's very difficult to, if we had a week to do this, it would be different, but we don't. We have 15 minutes to do this in one day. How many of each? Just as many as they would tell. Yes. Excellent question, Lizzie. Just as many as they would like to tell. So you can ask the question, is that all? Are there any other ones? And then I'll share with you my experience with this and my understanding with this. Anna, Abba, Namaste. I haven't seen you on a live in a while. Um, <laughs> And Jessica says, may not be easy to hear. People who know you might hold themselves in for fear that they would put the relationship in danger. Correct. Correct. So you guys are already starting to see the different aspects. But this, is, this was actually uh, recommended by the teacher. I'm not saying that Grandmaster Choa channeled it I'm saying in my years of studying with him, this was one of the exercises that we've done. And there's nuances to the exercise, but by me, by me telling you everything before you do the challenge, it's going to influence the feedback that you actually get. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, see how you guys are figuring th some things out? What Jessica just said? And then Karen says, I did it in Landmark. It was a great exercise. Did you say you have to see each other? Yes, you have to see each other. There's a reason you have to see each other. So you see each other face to face or you see each other on Zoom or Skype or FaceTime. You have to visually be connecting with the other person. It will be hard for both of them. Yeah. Trust me, there's a reason why I'm having it like this. I know it sounds like a little wonky or a little all over the place, but there's a reason I'm having it like this. It'll be very, very good feedback this evening. So again, your challenge, definitely no strangers. <laughs> so your challenge is very simple. Contact someone who knows you. Say, can I, can I borrow you for 15 minutes? Can we have a conversation for 15 minutes? And ask them the question, what are my positive qualities? What are my weaknesses and blind spots? And just listen. That's it. And do that for 15 minutes. You have 10 hours to do it. And then based on the feedback, then we will share this evening at 6 o'clock p.m. of what the feedback was. Before, we already have an idea of what's going on with you guys now, during, and then after. Being raw is so hard. Not if you're chocolate, Jessica. I will see if one of my sisters who lived here and have had our outs in the past will be willing to be raw with me. Hannah says, hola, buenos dias. Yes, I know, sorry, I'd be absent from class and today is my birthday, so it is my gift. Yay! Tap it into the challenges for a birthday gift. I love it. Good, good, good. Okay. So that's it, guys. That's our challenge for today. Um, they all don't have to be super complicated in the way of explaining them, but the it's kind of like Master Choa's books. 
Many of his books hold priceless spiritual teachings and practices, and they're very thin because there's no fluff, there's no filler, it's right to the point. Make sense? So um, if you guys want to join me in wishing Anna a happy birthday, ready, set, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Why isn't anyone else singing? Happy birthday, dear Anna. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Now bring out the cake. Blow out the candle. So be it. Okay, sweet. Uh, <laughs> you're very welcome. Also, Anna, if you want, one of the services that I provide for clients is a birthday blessing and birthday healing. So if you want to sign up for that as well, it's my typical rate. And then we do, we basically help you identify a wish that you want to materialize within six months. We remove the blockages to that wish. We do healing on you and then we energize the wish and we send you on your way because this is the start of your sun cycle. So your sun cycle is a great time to fulfill your wishes. And this, your sun cycle will last for 52 days. 52 days. So from your birthday to 52 days, you're in the sun cycle of your year, and it's the best time to ask for wishes, wish fulfillment, start new projects. Um, you have a lot of energy, sun energy, in your life to materialize what you desire. So it's a great time. Uh, can we do more than one person? Yes. Denise asks, can we do more than one person for the challenge? The answer is yes. Oh yeah, Denise is going ham. Joanna says, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Anna, happy birthday to you. Uh, with all the music. You guys are adorable. So that's our challenge. Join us for the Twin Hearts Meditation at 8.30 a.m. Mountain Time. So I believe in the next 15 or so minutes. And I'll have the link above. Mahesh, Atma Namaste, my Hartik Yogi roommate. Have your, uh, have the, the link will be above this video. It's also below this video. Any questions, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Yes, I want that. I'll reach out absolutely. Perfect. Let me know. Bye-bye. Love you guys.